Yo, yo, what's up, y'all? It's the one and only hip hop gamer. Hot 97 Logitech G. Launch life, baby, launch life. Right now, we checking out Xbox XO19. This is their um, London event showing off the latest games. Uh, there's going to be a lot of brand new PC news all that stuff. So let's get it on, man. One love and God bless. I'm glad that y'all here. Let's have a good time. Let me know if everything looks good and sounds good, please. Let's go. So, just let y'all know we're broadcasting to YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook. Of everything is hip hop gamer. Um, I hope y'all enjoy it. Let's get it on. Let me know y'all thoughts what y'all think about um, what Xbox is gonna do today. Yo, yo, Wax, yo, versatile. I see you, versatile. What's up, baby? Yo, does everything look good and sound good? What's up? Bad. Let's see what Xbox got, y'all. Yo, Dan, you in the building. What's up, Daniel? What's up? Welcome to the live stream and the live first impressions of Xbox brand new XO19 event happening out in London. It's going down right now. So, uh, yes, let me know what y'all uh, think. We're looking at, um, we're going to see new games, all of that. Let's go. Alright. Yo, shout out to Stig is loose man. That's my dude Stig. That's the that's the uh got the game director for God of War 3. Yo, Trey, what's going on, Trey? I see you, bro. What's good? Yo, Randy Four Star, what up? What up, B? Thanks so much. Um, Yo, Dragon wow, Blaze, what's this up? This is crazy. Um, we've been so hard at work for the last several years, and to finally get the game in the fans' hands is just, it's a dream come true. Thank you. Let's go. My man Stig in the building. Let's get it. My dude, the Trey, what's up, Trey? Finally here. How are you feeling? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's first it was Apex, and uh, same year at the end of the year, we're, we're shipping a Star Wars game. So it's been crazy. Um, it's, it's magical. Um, but, uh, you know, huge shout out to all Respawn, especially to, the, to my team, the Jedi Fallen Order team. Uh, this is our day. This is our time. We've been waiting to get here for a long time. Um, you know, thank you to Lucasfilm as well. You guys have been great partners, and for Microsoft for having this event. Let's go, baby. Well, I've got us. Steve, what was it like making a game in the Star Wars galaxy? Well, we're making an authentic Star Wars game. There's nothing like it. It's a massive honor. Um, and since day, it's day one, it's something that we never took for granted. Right, and we know you've brought some amazing gameplay for us to check out. Right, can, what, what have fans got to expect? Well, uh, we've got, um, you know, amazing uh, story in this game. We were able to put together some uh, a great cast with actors like Cameron Monaghan and Deborah Wilson that have done a fantastic job bringing drama to this game. We got to create our own droid with BD-1, which is like a total dream come true. Um, I don't I mean, it could go on and on, right? It's amazing. All right, we have to check this footage out. So I right, brand new footage, and check Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Let's go, baby. Trust only in the Force. Wow, let's go. <laughs> oh, wow, that's fire. Yo, Adam, what's up? Yo, look how he took his arm off, son. This is crazy. Wow. Let's go, baby! What I'm talking about? 
That's why he cut his arm off. Yes, it was. It's just one of many, many secrets that we've got in the game that we haven't had a chance to talk about yet. But uh, can't wait again to get everybody's hands on it. Huge honor. Thanks for having us. No, but thank you for joining us, Dig, and for coming to London to celebrate the launch of the game. But the celebration has just begun. XO19 starts right now. Let's go. Your are of facts. All right, let's get it, man. Forza. Oh, they're like angry. Yo, so, yeah, so, so far they set it off with, um, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Uh, that game comes out November 15th, so make sure y'all pick that up or get Origin Access if you play it on PC, you know, whatever it is. But um, that game looks like it's gonna be crazy. I played it um, at E3 already, so I'm ready. I'm ready for that game. Presented by Fortnite. Okay. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Hello, Xbox fans from around the world, and welcome to Inside Xbox Live from XO19 in London. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We're in my hometown. <laughs> my parents are sitting over there. My goodness. That's oh my awesome. god. Uh, so we've got a huge show planned for you today with news and reveals from Xbox Game Studios, Xbox Game Pass, Project X Cloud, yep. Idea Xbox, Matt Booty, Phil Spencer, and so much. That's right. Who's excited? Yes! Yes, you are. Yes, you are. And Inside Xbox is just the beginning. We are also broadcasting live and diving much deeper over the next two days into some of your favorite games with some legendary game creators in our Xbox panels. So make sure you stay tuned on Mixer over the next two days. But right now, let's get right to the breaking news and send up to Charlie, who's with a very special guest from you, Charlie! Okay. Welcome everybody to help me kick things off is Louise O'Connor, executive producer at Rare, the studio behind Oh, Series. Rare Studios, but let's Louise. go and see what's up. <laughs> They're all sat right here. Yo, what's up, King? What's now, Louise, I, I hear you and another team inside of Rare have been quietly crafting on another world. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Well, okay. For go you, on, then. I'll tell you a little bit. <laughs> so I've been lucky enough to have been working at Rare for over 20 years. Mm -hmm. And in that time, I've been on the most incredible journey with that studio. And it's actually a journey that's brought me here tonight to XO19 in London. In so, yeah. <laughs> um, And uh, I'm so proud to be here at XO19, representing the most incredibly talented team of people. We are passionate about creating something special and truly original. And that's why this is for players everywhere. I am delighted, and as you know, extremely excited <laughs> to share with you a glimpse tonight of the next new IP from Rare. Let's go! Brand new IP from Rare. Let's see what they got, Pete. Let's go, son. First Xbox Game Studios game reveal. Wow. All right, let's do it, baby. Let's go. World premiere.
ever wow. Okay, now I wish I wish we really got some gameplay to see what it really looked like and how it's gonna play and feel. But um, they could be on the We are now joined by head of Xbox Game Studios, Matt Booty. But first, for those watching on Mixer.com forward slash Xbox and logged into a Microsoft account, you'll receive a never before released Obsidian Helm for Sea of Thieves, a Gears Pop promotional credit, and a chance at winning a year subscription to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Facts, but first Adam, of all, can we now get a huge too. round of applause for Matt Booty? <laughs> Matt, we just saw that beautiful trailer, which is Rare's next journey, which begins with Everwild. What's it like to show off Everwild for the first time, and how else is Xbox Game Studios showing up today? I thought that trailer was amazing. I mean, the visuals are so compelling. Um, it's really just a magical window into something new that's being created at Rare, a whole Crystal, new world and up, universe Crystal? to explore. Rare, this is like the a Xbox, lot of our studios, XO19 has more than one event. team under the same roof. A lot of new and so it's great to like see that. a new team with new IP bring that game to life under great leadership with Louise. Definitely a slow and that star, will Adam. exist side by side with the team that will continue working on Sea of Thieves. Across all of our studios, uh, we've really shifted from a focus on growth and acquisition, uh, moving on to execution and delivery, and really delivering on the promise of these great games. And that includes our publishing team, which has gone out and started up projects with independent creators who will bring exclusive content to Xbox. And what that all adds up to is tonight we'll be able to show two more new IP and updates on 11 games in production. That's going to oh, be wow. amazing. Okay, all right, let's go. Let's see and also, every Xbox Game Studios game will launch, of course, day and day on Xbox Game Pass. And as head of Xbox Game Studios, what's the real tangible benefit that Game Pass gives to you and the studios? Well, the great thing about Game Pass is that it really empowers our studios to focus on what they're great at, which is yeah. creating great games. Um, whether it's a large-scale game or a small passion project, both of those can exist inside Xbox. It's also brought a whole new audience to some of our games. It might be a game that someone didn't know about, they hadn't discovered, or maybe just a game that they hadn't played yet. It's really brought a whole new audience to our games. And a good example of that is uh, Outer Worlds from our Obsidian studio. Yeah, <laughs> Outer Worlds is pretty good. Everyone loves Outer Worlds. And so Outer Worlds just recently launched and already it's found a great audience inside Game Pass. Yeah, thank you so much for coming to talk to us as well. I'm, I'm really excited to see everything come. But also, as you said, as an example of multiple teams within a studio, Obsidian Entertainment brought us out of worlds, but we also now have an Xbox, another Xbox Game Studios reveal of another title from Obsidian showcasing those multiple teams. Let's take a look at that trailer. Oh, let's go, man. All right, let's get it. Let's see what Obsidian got. World Premiere. Hold up. Okay. Oh! It's like, honey, I shot the kids or something like that. Yo! Yo! Alright, this might be dope, son. Oh, and we got a black lead character? Let me find out. Wow. Wow. Yo, this is looking dope so far, son. Wow, this is fire! This looks dope. Wow! Grounded, yo, that's hot! Xbox Games for Games of Finish Work in Progress, Spring 2020. That looks fire, son. That looks crazy. I right, am with that. Crystal, what's up, Crystal? What's going on? All right, we got 
we've just seen grounded for the very first time, but I've got to say before we go any for, uh, further, congratulations, I would huge love to see Obsidian rare, with the launch of the Outer Worlds. I would love to see that. Um, now, grounded obviously looks a little bit different. Dope. That's like the key, kids Can you tell us a little in, bit more about In video about game form. Yeah, so grounded has actually been in development for a little over a year. It's a small team headed up by Adam Brennicky, who is the executive producer on Deadfire. The whole team is just really into survival games, and we want to see what we can bring to the genre. It's something that was in production before we became part of Microsoft, but once Microsoft saw it, they are really supportive of it moving forward. I know a lot of people associate our studio, obviously, with RPGs, but we do have multiple teams working on different things at different times, so you can expect to hear more about the RPGs we're working on in the future. All right, so tell us about the thinking behind going into the survival genre. Yeah, so we've been kind of tossing around the idea of making a survival game for quite a while now, and it wasn't until Deadfire started to wind down that we started having some brainstorming sessions where this unique idea of what if we made a survival game where players were shrunk down to the size of an ant came up. Yeah, I love it. Big yeah, ants. And, yeah. Big, big ants. And Adam Brenke, our project director, he was pretty excited about this idea that he ran over to Fergus, our studio head, and said, let's do this. He gave us the green light, and we put together a small team and started to just flex our creative muscles. And within a month, we knew we had something special, so we just, we just been running with it. And talking about something special, we hear that Grounded is actually coming to both Xbox Game Preview and Xbox Game Pass. Please tell people when they're going to be able to get their hands on it. Yeah, so like we did with Pillars 1 and Pillars 2, we want to involve the community into the development of the game as early as possible. That's why we will be launching first in the Xbox Insider program. And shortly after that, we will be going into game preview on both Xbox One and PC this coming spring. And we've been pretty excited about going to Game Pass because we feel that will only involve even more of the community to help shape this game along our side our team at Obsidian. Agree. Nice. And what's so even cooler pass, is that everyone who's here at XO19 five. will be able to play grounded <laughs> over the next <laughs> few days. Robbie, Josh, thank you so much for thank bringing around here. Right All right, let's go. I'm telling you, okay, Xbox Game Xbox Pass is to fire. celebrate XO19 for fans around the world. We are running our first ever Xbox started. Flash sale on some of our quick. biggest you titles, and it starts quick. right. I'd have a watch on. No! Yeah, no. For the next 36 hours only, you can get between 20 and 70% off some of your favorite Xbox games, including Sea of Thieves Anniversary Edition, mm -hmm. Gears 5 Ultimate Edition, mm -hmm. Borderlands 3 Super Deluxe Edition, mm -hmm. FIFA 20 Champions Edition, and Edition the Game, the Edition Edition. <laughs> and more than 20 other fan favorites. But coming up later, we have the latest on Bleeding Edge, xCloud, Phil Spencer, and more game reveals, kind of like this one. World premiere. World premiere, baby, let's go. Purgatory, Wyoming, 1888. A shifting land shaped by the souls of the dead. The oh, good wow. ones head east toward the light. The bad ones, sometimes they stick around when they ain't supposed to. That's where I come in to change their mind. Oh! Yo, this looks dope, son! I got a job to Let's do. Let's go, Ryan. But it ain't always that simple. Oh, wow. Some say a coward dies oh, a thousand dope, deaths. Man. And a hero only dies once. I says a hero is someone who keeps coming back. West of Dead. Play the open beta on Xbox One now. They got an open beta on Xbox One right now for that game. All right, that's dope. Head out on the waves with Sea of Thieves, the shared world pirate adventure game. game. Through his brave buccaneers into an ever-changing experience of excitement and danger. And we're back with our next free monthly update, The Seabound Soul. There's an all-new lore-focused tall tale mission for players looking for a thrilling story 
Join Captain Pendragon to uncover the mystery of the feared ship, the Ashen Dragon, and reveal the secrets of a sinister So listen, y'all, once wreck. again, it's the one and only hip-hop gamer, the heat, Hot 97, live to take G, fireball. launch life, baby, this launch life is going down. So check this out, we are broadcasting on YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, everything all. is hip-hop gamer, the arena, so please uh, come through, and check it out, if you have a good time, share it, and um, yeah, let's, let's to give people to check out the latest games that... Oh, so get ready to light a fire uh, under your right. Well, let's get it in. I hope y'all enjoying yourselves. Oh, what y'all think of the show the so far? Uh, the uh, X019. What y'all think of the show so far? Yeah, I don't. I wasn't feeling Sea of Thieves at all. Issues. <laughs> That's funny. Most cool, yeah, but only survival. Oh, us. Coming to Xbox One in twenty twenty. All right. World premiere. All right, let's go. Another world premiere, y'all. Let's get it. Oh shit. This the PC race like Oh, car rider. This it has a lot of personality. That's what I like about it. it. Has a lot of personality. Like that's what game, more games need. They need that personality. I, I need to feel connected to it on a personal level instead of just pick up play at one. Feeling that. Feeling that. Oh, of course, gameplay with Xbox and PC nice. So y'all. When you think about Crash Team Racing and, and Super Mario Kart and looking at this, you know, what are your thoughts, man? Even Team Sonic Racing and all of that. There's like four definitive kart racing games on the market right now. Alright, let's go. I like that. like a whole lot of kart ride fun now to tell us more about we what we just saw please welcome kart rider drift producer ds choi as well as kart rider Amazing drift no. executive director hoon park welcome to the stage welcome to the show all right off the bat i would love for you to tell us a little bit more about bringing the iconic kart rider franchise to a global audience on xbox one yeah uh, sure kart rider is a casual racing game that is easy to pick up and play we just celebrated its 15th anniversary, and I'm super excited to bring this amazing game to Xbox. Yeah. They're excited too. <laughs> yeah. now, now, part of the Kart Rider series yeah, is the customization. I was taking a look at it earlier. There is a ton of customization in there for Xbox players, right? Yeah. Okay, so anyone can customize their cast and characters. Hey, yes. can you more about Yes. Yeah, sure. So basically, right. you can see the characters like with different like skins, it. and you actually see the different emotes actually playing it with it as well. So that's for the characters, and also cards have different types. Like we have even toilet cards yeah, available. Races toilet cards. Cards. Yeah, well, you're driving a, a toilet <laughs> or a, a giant gorilla or right. something like that. So tons possible. of options. Yeah. Tons of different <laughs> options. All right. Well, customization is great. I would love to see some gameplay, and from what I yeah. hear, we've got Kart Rider League's top two esports players. And they're going to take us through. So Hojin Moon and Insu Park are just over here to the side. Do me a favor. All right, let's go. As they get to racing, will you tell us what we're seeing and what we need to know? Yeah, sure. Sounds good. So what they're about to start is the speed mode for the game. 
basically, speed mode is all about boosters. We also have item mode, but in this mode, the only item you're using is booster. Mm -hmm. But the way you earn this is actually just by drifting more and doing more drifting as often as possible. And what you're about to see here is that they're going to be able to boost all the way throughout the match just because they can do all the drifts in the between every single time. Now, uh, I know a lot of folks, I'm not even going to look at my Twitter feed because I know it's lighting up right now. People are going, wait a minute. They're playing on keyboard, oh. so you're gonna have keyboard and controller support. Yes, we will. And keyboard is actually uh, where we first started on the PC. Wow, but look at we are this. now coming to the Xbox One, and also the controller actually feels even better with the feedback. And with the, when you were drift, drifting or this like drawing with the actual This is hot, I like this a lot. This I love that part. All right, I've got one last question for you, and I think I know what the answer is gonna be. New players coming into this franchise on Xbox One, what's the one tip that you give them? Uh, Drift and shortcuts. I'm assuming drift. Oh, and shortcuts. Shortcuts. Yeah. I think uh, I might be able to show wow. you in a few seconds in the screenshot right, the screen right now. Oh, actually, later, later. Oh, Basically, nice. If you know the track better, you're gonna be in a much more advantage to the other player. Oh, and oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> Are you gonna be able to catch up? Yeah. Catch up, catch up. It's that pressure. It's live, yeah. it live demo. As you can see, he's always like drifting 180s without any like problems. In this game, drifting is all that, and it actually might feel sensitive. Wow. But the way Yo, he, oh, he's cutting it, fire! Yeah, there it right right there. I love oh the God, level that's design that's too. Right there. Yeah. All right. Those kind of shortcuts actually save you like two, three seconds of the whole record, and so it's really crucial for you to know those kind of things. Sounds good. I'm looking forward to it. Well, thank you both so much wow. for joining us. We really appreciate that was it. Fire! And a the closed beta for Kart Rider Drift. Oh yeah, the SSD on card is yeah. All right, thanks for joining That's us. That's gonna be very interesting now, because check out um, the latest from Bleeding Edge. You know, so hey, much I'm here with Bleeding Edge creative director Rani Tucker from Ninja Theory. So we first saw like Bleeding that. Edge at E3, and today actually you brought us a new look trailer. But before we kind of deep dive into that, <laughs> kind of what's what's kind of the soul and the process, you know, in making a game like this. Well, Bleeding Edge is a 4v4 third-person team game. I mean, Ninja Theory's got a great heritage in making combat action games, so I wanted to carry that forward and kind of combine it with my passion for team-based multiplayer. Um, so it's, you know, the moment-to-moment -moment actions, really fast-paced, yeah, arcade evade combos, but then there's a team element as well, so it's a really interesting combination of stuff. It looks very exciting, <laughs> and you've brought something rather special with you today. Yeah, What's yeah, that? Let's check it, well, let's check it out. Have let's check it out. Let's go. Yo, that looks dope. Go! I love the style, the art style, the feel of it. Yo. I used to have for my brother Amazing. growing up. I'm not going to say it. I don't know if I'm allowed to. Can I say that? Um, so what can, you know, what do fans need to know about the launch of this game? Uh, well, it's coming out on March 24th. Yeah. So you can go to bleedingedge.com. You can pre-order it now. Windows 10, Xbox, Steam. 
Uh, it's cross-play across everything, and we've got some cool pre-order perks, so you get into our closed beta next year. Nice. Um, there's also a cool skin pack that you can unlock, so. Ah, oh, cool, cool, cool. And obviously, we saw a new character uh, within that trailer. Can you tell us a little bit about them? Yeah, Cass, she's awesome. She's our new damage class. She's a first hybrid uh, ranger melee for the game. Mm -hmm. um, she's awesome at getting into the back line, harassing the healers. She's got these kind of augmented legs that she can use to jump up really high, take out people who are trying to run off. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited to see how the Tech Alpha players are going to deal with her in the next uh, playtest. <laughs> I feel like this is how I want to look after oh, wow. I've the gym doing a whole load of squats. Like, that's the kind of gains that I want on my booty that I can never quite get. So, I can play it, so that's cool. Uh, so, some uh, players have obviously been playing the uh, Technical Alpha. Kind of, yep. what's, the, what's the feedback been like? Oh, it's been amazing. There's such a great group of players, and they're giving us heaps of good feedback, filling out all of our surveys. Uh, massive shout out to Magna, who's running the unofficial Discord. Yeah. Um, great community of guys. Yeah, it's been really nice working with them. And we've got another test next week where Cass is going to be available. Um, and she's available here on the show floor too, so people can play her today. Nice. I think you need to do a few little question and answers going around. Oh, a little, little, little poll after nice. this. <laughs> Get a beer, it'll be fine. <laughs> All right, well, thanks so much, Ronnie. Thank you for joining us. Thanks. So, um, next up, new titles to show. From roller coasters to bold storytelling to, well, an artful escape. Here's Once again, y'all, so one only hip hop game, a hot 9-7, Logitech G, launch life, baby, World launch life. Premiere. World premiere, Xbox XO19, let's get it. Most valuable gamers in the building. What's going on, big dog? We're checking out the XO19, you know what I'm saying? The Xbox joint on London right now. Nah, it's 3.33 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. I mean, I'm, I'm here for y'all. Martino in the building. Martino, what's good, man? How you feel? Premiere. Oh, don't nod! That's my team right there! They say twins are connected. They finish each other's sentences. I love don't nod, man. Like Read strange, each baby. other's minds. Feel each other's pain. And sometimes, they even relive each other's worst memories. This is wrong. This is all wrong. Mom? Are you sure you want to go in there? Writing down my thoughts helped me realize who I am. When I f finally made sense of a few things, I don't know how I never saw it coming. But what good does it do to ask the question now? She was never gonna let me be anything but her little girl. I know you want there to be something to find. Something that'll make it all make sense. I need to know. Yo, this World is going to be interesting. Premiere. Tell me why. I can't wait to see that. I can't wait to see it.
on to two of the greatest in the building. What's up, Satu? I just see you. What's going on, bro? Salute. members of the Project X Cloud team here today. Please welcome a guy we've... Hey, there you go, got some fans out there. Kareem, you've been on the Inside Xbox stage so many times that everyone recognizes you and loves you. <laughs> so welcome back. And I am thrilled to have Catherine Gluckstein join us. Catherine, you're one of the key leaders on Project X Cloud and you head up the product team. Welcome to Inside Xbox, give her a round of applause. All right, let's get it. Thank you, Graham. It is so great to be back home here in London. That's right, a London local as well. I love it. All right, Kareem, can you tell us a little bit about Project X Cloud and why fans should be so excited about this? Of course, Project X Cloud is our cutting edge game streaming technology that takes the power of Xbox and everything that comes along with it and puts it in your phone or tablet. That's your friends, your social network, your save games, your achievements, your gaming history, all your progression. It all comes with you so you don't have to start over. And Project X Cloud can give you this freedom because we're literally putting an Xbox in the cloud. <laughs> With 2.6 billion gamers in the world, Project X Cloud is our dream of delivering, uh, of gaming for everyone, everywhere. That's right. and, and just last month, you started the first phase of the preview in the UK, the US, and Korea. So what happens next? More games. As of right now, yes, there are games. over 50 games in the preview from over 25 of our development partners. I feel you on that, you know, a word? I, I right. and, and these are fan favorites like Forza Horizon 4, Devil May Cry 5, Tekken 7, and many, many others. And we're not just going to stop there with what we're doing today. You can see us continue to add more and more games over time. There you go. Fantastic. So more games and more ways to play. So how can people at home actually get involved? Preview is... Uh, we, we've missed it. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> we've heard your feedback loud and clear. There are more ways, uh, you want more ways to play. And we are delighted yeah, to announce that in 2020, we will bring Project feel. X Cloud to telephone Windows telephone 10 man, PCs. Right, nice. You're more nervous for what? Like, what you do? And of course, we won't stop there. We are working with a ton of partners to bring Project X Cloud to every device where you want to play. Right. And tell me about controllers as well. Absolutely, we think a ton about controllers. Project X Cloud, of course, plays great with your Xbox controllers. And because we believe in choice, we will support multiple Bluetooth controllers, including Razer Jungle Cat and Sony DualShock. Project. Yeah. Word, yo! They they gonna use the DualShock or Project or Project X Cloud. Project Freedom X -Cloud. To choose That's and crazy. Freedom to play right now on Android, but in the future on multiple devices. All right, I love it. How about that? You guys kind of underwhelming, Martin, though. More countries, okay. more games, more devices, and more opportunities for players around the world to get involved. Kareem. How are you working with publishers and developers on Project X? Well, before we got there, Catherine's actually got more news to share. Oh, oh absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Tell me more. <laughs> so, um, uh, we view Preview as our journey to create the very best in game streaming together with our community. And today, we will be inviting more of you to come on that journey. And then next year, we will extend Preview to Canada, Western Europe, Japan, and to India. So if you haven't signed up already, what are you waiting for? Absolutely. There you go. Thank you, Catherine. So, Kareem, let, let's talk about those publishers and developers. How are you working with, with um, other publishers and developers on Xbox? You know, we're partnering with the industry in true Xbox style. 
from you know, multiple industries, we're working with the world's best, and that's content designers and publishers and developers, silicon designers, hardware manufacturers, telco operators, and many, many others. They're all coming together to make it possible. And I'm super thrilled to announce that one of our great partners is here with us today from Electronic Arts, the Chief Technology Officer, and my good friend, Ken Moss. Fantastic, everyone give a big welcome to Ken Moss from EA. All right, Ken Moss in the building, what up, Ken? Okay. Let's go, yeah. baby, let's go. Welcome. Welcome to the Inside Xbox stage in London, Ken. Thank you so much. <laughs> So we, we've worked with our friends at EA for a long time, but uh, you've also been involved in Project xCloud. So how did you get involved, and what does game streaming mean to you? Well, at EA, we want more players around the world to have more opportunity to play all the games that they love. We well, long believe in the power like. of the cloud, and that it's going to transform gaming right at its core. And that starts by bringing all your games to all of your devices. And we're excited about that, where you can play, you can play with your friends even when you don't have the same devices. I like and that. now that cloud gaming is starting to become a reality, we knew we had to partner with Microsoft on Project X Cloud. Awesome. So how do you actually think about it developing so games for the cloud? Phony, though, the way well, it's actually though. one of my passions. It's one of the reasons I joined the industry over five years ago. Uh, and um, and the, the power of the cloud is, uh, is just going to be amazing. It's allow us to build games in brand new ways uh, that are going to be fundamentally different. Uh, and, and, but it starts with how do we get our games out there quickly and easily so that they're available on all of your devices no matter how you want to play. Yeah, yeah, our goal is to make it right as now, easy Adam, as possible yeah. for our partners to build for the cloud. When you build for Xbox, you're automatically building for the cloud. There's no extra dev work required. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Ken, when you came to visit us at Microsoft to learn about Project xCloud, that morning I asked my team, hey, go install EA's games on our Project xCloud servers. You came yeah, like, in and we just jumped in and played. It was that easy. Like, it was amazing. We got lost in the fun of the game the rather than thinking about the technology. I don't even believe and that's right how it should be. Anymore. So right. thanks so much for that. And it's been really inspiring to see EA's games, our, our, our biggest games, showing up on mid-tier mobile devices. So thanks for, uh, for the great partnership. Nice, but name some games for me, Ken. What did you play and, and what else is coming from EA to Project x -Flight? Well, one of our flagship games uh, that has roots as deep as Electronic Arts itself uh, is one that I want to talk about today. And I'm excited to announce that Madden NFL, Madden NFL 20 is nice. now available on Project X Cloud, uh, available today. Available today. <laughs> available today. Love it. Now, this is very Touchdown. important. <laughs> if a sports game can run great on X-Cloud, just like fighting. And as we continue like, to learn together to about SSL. how to That's make our powerful. players, uh, or how our players so want to play games in a streaming world, we're looking for new genres to bring. We're looking at, at huge agree, worlds and RPGs. We're looking at some of our indie studios that we partner with to bring forward. So we're going to be bringing three more games to xCloud in the coming months. Oh, excellent. That's amazing news, Ken. Thank you so much for joining us. Everyone give up for Ken Moss from EA. Now, Kareem, Catherine, before we go, I heard that you've got something else for us as well. We often get asked, hey, what happens after preview? So we're here today to announce two things. In 2020, we're going to give you the ability to play the games that you own from the cloud or the games that you will purchase in the future. And... We all know that Xbox Game Pass is the best place to discover and play your next favorite game. And I'm delighted to announce that next year we will bring game streaming to Xbox Game Pass so that you are free to discover and play anywhere and everywhere. <laughs> now that, yo, now that announcement is crazy. So your Xbox Tons Game Pass will include streaming. Tonight. That Love right it. there is crazy. And for those crazy. at home interested in participating, That's you can of course right still there. register that is a at xbox.com forward slash game streaming. Get on that. Tons of exciting things for Project X Cloud. Kareem, Catherine, thank you so much for being here with us tonight. Everyone, big round of applause for Ken. Yo, Charlie, what up, Charlie? What's poppin', my dude? I see you. And speaking of exciting Yo, Grinda, stuff Steve, coming what's up, Grinda? Black my dude, Friday what up, baby? is upon us. Larry and Ricari. Take Project X Cloud. Oh, here we are. I got some good news and bad news for you, Ricari. What is it? I have, I have some bad news for your gaming backlog, uh -huh. which is already horrendous. But I have some good news 
for your gaming backlog. Go ahead. <laughs> Here we go. You ready? Yes. It's time to announce some of our Xbox Black Friday deals. All right, let's go ahead and start with Xbox One deals. You can get up to $150 off Xbox One consoles, including bundles with Gears 5, Forza Lego, NBA 2K20, and more. Now, that means the Xbox One S Charlie All Digital the Edition is only up, $149.99. Okay. The All Digital Edition comes bundled with Minecraft, Sea of Thieves, and, of course, Fortnite Battle Royale. Oh, yes! Right, but to play those games, you need controllers. Sorry, I will be You'll playing be Star to Wars to tonight, baby. Controllers it's going down. Night so I can't camo wait, Special Star Wars Edition, Jedi the Fortnite Special fire Edition, tonight. the Gears 5 Kate Diaz Limited Edition. You've seen that beautiful gray one, right? right? Great, and Design Labs get up to hey, $10. Yo. Off. Is there anybody customizable control? Want to check All right, that's right great. We talk bundles, we talk controllers. Yeah. Of course, we need games. Now, you can get up to 50% off Xbox Game Studio titles, including Gears 5, Sea of Thieves Anniversary Edition, Forza Horizon 4, plus discounts on FIFA 20, NBA 2K20 Legends Edition, Borderlands 3 Super Deluxe Edition, and more. Now, finally, if you're an Xbox you Game Pass is, Ultimate or yeah, yeah. Xbox Live Gold member, you get early access to all of the Black Friday deals on Xbox Digital Games beginning November 21st. Now, Microsoft stores are a great place to shop because their Give Wonder guarantee provides free shipping and a pledge to give you the best Microsoft store price of the season. All right, next up, a franchise you've always wanted on Xbox and one you've never seen before. Take a look. Oh, shoot, let's go! Yakuza is on Xbox? Wow! Wow! Yakuza is on Xbox? Wow! That's crazy! World premiere. That is crazy! Wow. All right, the molasses flood. Let's see what they got. Yo, this looks pretty cool too. Stories in the building. Yes, I will be Xbox playing Star Wars Ultimate, Ultimate, for the Jedi Fallen Order tonight, man. I can't wait. Let's go. Lucy, plus Xbox Live Gold, all for one low monthly price and no upfront cost. Plus, you get the option to upgrade to the next generation of Xbox with Project Scarlet, which releases yep. alongside Halo Infinite Adam, in yep. Holiday 2020. And players in the US and UK, if you get an Xbox One X with all access. But so far, the biggest takeaways was oh, Yakuza coming to Xbox, Xbox which is dope. Xbox, 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 Xbox Game Pass will also feature Project X Cloud, now, so they'll have streaming no type of what they got off. now. So that's good. crazy as well. I thought that was awesome. amazing. Let's have a look. Um, Okay, let's see what let's see what else they got. Alright, let's go. Contact with Visegrad Relay was lost last night. Halo, baby! When is it coming to PC? Let's go! Time has come to return the favor. Four K, baby! Raptor is done. 
We need to get They're remaking the old the Yo, I'll tell you. Let's go. You've been wondering what your pardon died for. Yo, Charlie. The graphics card I got. I got the RTX 2080 Ti, and I have an AMD 1950X uh, Threadripper. Yes, December third, baby. December third. It's coming. Yo, it's coming out. I'm here with Halo, Halo Community Director Brian Gerard, and we go way back, all the way to 2010 at least. We're back again. When Halo, Halo Reach? Reach originally dropped, and we're gonna be talking Reach right now. Before we get to the release date, first for those who may not be initiated, how does Halo Reach? fit into the Master Chief collection? Well, Halo Reach is sort of the prequel. This kicks off the whole saga of Master Chief's journey before the events of Halo Combat Evolved. So whether you're an old time fan or new to the franchise, it's the perfect place to jump in. Okay, more importantly, when do I get to play it? Well, we are close now, December 3rd. We are super excited. Halo Reach will be coming to Xbox One and for the first time, PC. That's gonna be yes. a, such Yo, a baby. good time. I cannot wait. now. Correct me if I'm wrong, this Master Chief Collection is an Xbox Game Pass title, yes? Yeah, totally. And that's not just on console, that's on PC as well? Yeah, you'll be able to pick up uh, all of MCC starting with Reach on Xbox Game Pass for Xbox and on PC as well. In addition, we are now live for pre-orders on Microsoft Store and Steam for the first time. Oh, that's going to be a good go. time, Brian. I got to say, it's crazy, man. I was, I was that kid that was camped out. I remember first you at the launch line, party. Right? Oh, this is uh, I was, so horrible. Here we are. We've come full circle. I, you guys really take care of the community, and I, I got to say thank you for that, but I know you want to give them thanks. Yeah, honestly, else. we've been working on this project for a long time. The world's waited a long time for Halo to come to PC for real now, so we're excited. We could not have done it without our community, so thank you on behalf of the entire studio, everybody who's been a part of our fighting program. December 3rd is just the first step. We're just getting started. We have a long way to go on this journey, but we're bringing all of MCC to PC, starting with Halo Reach. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Brian. I appreciate it. Now, let's take things from space to a little bit closer to Earth, about 30,000 feet in the air, to be exact. It's time for the latest from Flight Simulator. Take a look. All right. This Flight Simulator is pretty dope. They're using the official Logitech um, flight gear. So you already know what it is, man. Logitech G, that's the family, that's the team. I keep telling y'all, man, if you want the hottest products, Logitech, Astro, Streamlabs, that's the team right there, baby. We dominate, son. Let's go. Yo, Charlie, yo, that'd be fire, Charlie. That Intel i9, uh, uh, um, the, what, what about to say, the, uh, in the, um, the 2080 Ti, that combination is a beast. You get that, you lit, light. You be ready for the next generation, like that one.
Age of Empires. That's a classic right there. For real. There you go. World premiere gameplay of Age of Empires 4. Shannon Loftus, good to see you. Great. Uh, welcome oh, to the stage. Great to be here. Thanks. It's a little nervous. What do you want to say to the fans out there? Oh, gosh. First, I want to say thank you, Age fans, for being so patient with us. I know we talked about Age 4 two years ago, and then we went quiet. Well, we got it ready, really, to start showing you real gameplay. I do want everybody here to understand what you saw gameplay there is what we are playing every day on the team. So, wow. That's unbelievable. All right, let's go. So today we revealed two things. Okay. Uh, you might find more as you go through the trailer, but the two big things are the era of the game, which is the medieval era. And then the second are two of our civilizations, the Mongols and the English. All right. Now, I got to talk to you about this because the Age of Empires is a 20-year franchise yeah. with millions of people around the world have played it. What does it mean for your team to bring a new title into the family of this, this RTS legend. It means a lot of feelings. The thing about a generational game like this is that you start to meet people who grew up playing the game with their parents and now they want to play it with their kids. Right. And so um, what, that re what it made us realize is that we have this incredible community and the love and the passion for this game that we've um, experienced from the community, it seems kind of limitless. Yeah. And then, um, when we started thinking about Age of Empires IV and we're thinking about the great legacy games, we realized that there are still so many stories to be told yeah. in human history. And real-time strategy is a genre that has given birth to so many other strategies, and yet it still holds true. We grow our user base every single month. And we kept exploring for the edges of like, where, what is the limits to the potential for Age of Empire? So last June, we announced that we were forming a dedicated studio yes. for Age of Empires, and today I'm excited to tell you the name of the studio. Here we go. It is World's Edge. World's Edge. Yeah. That was, oh, World's uh, Edge. That's fantastic. <laughs> World's Edge. World's now, Edge. Now, Age fans don't have to wait to get their age fixed, right? Because today is a very special day, right? Today is an amazing day. Yeah. I'm so excited. It's the launch day. Boy. We launched about an hour and a half ago. Yep. This is the best version of Age of Empires 2. It has 4K graphics, up-res, everything, all new music, sound effects. We have oh, a whole new civilization, all the DLC, His and a ton of quality name, of life improvements. Name. That's most of all, though, what yeah. matters to us most is that you, the community that have been so supportive, come along with us on this journey. So play Age of Empires 2 DE. We will be listening to you over the weeks and months and making improvements that you suggest, and then help us Make Age of Empires 4 the greatest new beginning for a franchise ever. All right, Shannon, thank you thank so much for joining us. To get you started, you. let's take a look at that trailer. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're sending more archers. Left tower. <laughs> let's go. Hey, guys, can we get some trade going? Well, maybe you should share it. We're a team. I just sent it. OK, I got you. Where are you at? I can fight a war with one hand. I'm going to have to base it. Yes, I cannot wait. Now at this year's E3, we announced Crossfire X, the first console version of one of the most popular first-person shooters in the world, coming exclusively to Xbox One in 2020. Today, we're debuting a first look at gameplay, but first, we sent Benny out on the road to find out more about the game and the teams behind it. For the very first time on console, only on Xbox. Right, let's go. This is Crossfire X. It's fast, it's massive, it's going to be free to play. This is Crossfire X. My name's Benny from Xbox X One, and I'm about to take you on a world tour to see how three teams came together to create one of the most exciting first-person shooters on the horizon. Smallgate Entertainment are the developers of Crossfire, 
international phenomenon and one of the most popular PC games of all time. They're bringing the next evolution of Crossfire to Xbox next year. The Crossfire X will bring intense gameplay experience accessible to all kind of FPS players through some unique and uh, innovative game mode. Oh, it's got absolutely rinsed. After 10 years of success, now is the right time for us to prove that, uh, what we can do. Thank you so much for that, but I kind of get a feeling that you let me win. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, Remedy! I've landed in Helsinki, Finland, and I'm heading to Remedy Entertainment. They're experts at combining unique worlds, dark stories, and great combat systems. I want to find out how that translates to building a single-player campaign in Crossfire X. We're implementing everything that we know from the narrative side into a first-person military shooter. We're taking the decade of background work that mm -hmm. Smilegate has been doing for Crossfire. We are starting to bring those live as a single-player experience. There are almost 100 cameras in the space. That big pillar, is that there intentionally so like, you can do like leaning like segments, or...? That's there to keep the building upright. Oh. Uh. I'm here in Seattle to talk with Xbox and find out how this all went down. We've got Remedy, mm -hmm. we've got Smile Game, we've of course got Xbox. How is that all working? It's, it's awesome. My job is just to make everyone's lives easier. What things in the gameplay are should people be getting excited for? If you want aim down sight experiences, we have that mode available to you. If you like battle royales like I do, we've got one of those. There literally is a type of first person gameplay experience for most of the players out there. My trip around the world's come to an end, but there's still one thing we haven't seen. Gameplay. Here it is. It's just a little taste of what's to come. Corey in the building, what's going on, C? Thank you, man. God bless. I'm glad you enjoying the stream, bro. Please, please share, share, share if you know if y'all enjoying it. Thanks. Alright, this is our first time checking this out. Oh, they might go with DMX. Knock, knock, open up the door. It's real. Let's go. Diddy going to go. Yo, let it go. X go give it to him. Go give it to him. Let's go, baby! Yo, that's fire! That's fire! This cross edge joint look crazy, son. Only on Xbox. Wow. That's crazy. Now that's that's what I'm talking about. That's fire right there. Of course, Andrew is looking crazy. Place this time. We finally they, they, made it all together at the same time. Okay. That was dope. But how are you feeling? Excited. This crowd is awesome. Thank you, by the way. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. We're super excited to be here but even more excited to bring Crossfire X next year to our fans. So we're super excited about that. So on behalf of our great partners at Remedy and Smilegate Entertainment, thank you very much. Can we give thank everyone a round of applause. Thank you very much. But I can't wait for you all to get a chance to play the game next year. But thanks again for being here. And also, I can't wait for Crossfire X. But next up, a game our executive producer calls Twins Pixian. Check this out. World premiere. Hi, right, world premiere. Let's go again. Did you see that guy just then? I keep seeing him bringing home different girls, but I've not seen one of them leave. I wonder where he's going. I guess there's only one way to find out. Get a video of this. Oh, Are you guys... Come on. I'll go and talk to him. Huh? Jesus! You've stolen my body! I haven't done anything. There's got to be some cause, some connection between the two of us. Are there circumstances where it's appropriate to deceive a loved one or partner? Depends on what I stand to gain. I'm your worst nightmare. 
pray that you need no set eyes on me again. What the hell are you doing? This is mental! You're gonna witness an annihilation. This looks crazy too. <gasps> I, I'm feeling that. That looks dope. That looks dope too. Let's go. Yo, why Fortnite throwing up, you know what I'm saying? The dynasty style, you know what I mean? It's the R O C style. By, but first, that's right, you heard it here first. Minecraft Dungeons is coming out starting in April, and to help celebrate the launch and show us something that hasn't been seen before, please welcome executive producer for Minecraft Dungeons, David Nishogan. Hey. <laughs> We've also Thank got you. games director Mons and senior producer Nathan from the Dungeons hey team here to show off new gameplay. I'm gonna get stuck in in a minute, but David, do you wanna tell us first what we're looking at? Short and sweet, yeah. uh, Minecraft Dungeons is a brand new game in the Minecraft universe, mm -hmm. and it's inspired by classic dungeon crawlers. And I mean, we can talk a lot about the game, but let's just play it instead. Yeah, this live here on stage. This looks dope. Now, it, this is live, so I'll just try to explain what's going on. So, Mons and Nathan are like playing. You a see lot. their health like bars, this. or hot bars, lower left and lower right. Uh, you see these little icons with X, Y, and B. That's special artifacts that they have. They work similar to abilities, mm -hmm. like games in the genre. So you use them, and they're on a timer, and they have quite juicy special effects. Ooh, are these dudes with the books as well? Oh yes, the oh. dudes with the books. Dude those are books. those are mobs called <laughs> enchanters. Are you sure they're not called dudes with books? <laughs> it's a great name. You can take it if you want. We'll keep it in mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They actually enchant other mobs and makes them bigger and stronger. Now, Mons and Nathan actually found a secret. Most of the levels in Minecraft Dungeons are procedurally generated. Uh -huh. So sometimes you like bump into cool secrets mm -hmm. and exciting places. And uh, of course, sometimes you have... Uh, uh, <laughs> we had... Oh, they oh. went back, back, oh. back up again. Someone has done a death. Someone has done a yeah. death. Let's see. That was me. So Live. part of the game on, is Nate. that it's supposed to be fun to play with your friends. Uh -huh. And obviously we have implemented lots of cool things about this, so such as like you can revive each other mm -hmm. if someone's knocked out. Yeah. Oh, so as the <laughs> Sorry. Someone dinged then. <laughs> Someone level. leveled up. <laughs> uh, one important thing to keep in mind is that there's no classes in this game. Mm -hmm. uh, you are what you wear. Everything you pick up, everybody can just equip it. All the different artifacts, ranged weapon, melee weapon, armors. Hey, weapon. this is going to get pretty hairy here. Yeah, We're coming up. you want to give us a hand? Uh, All right. Yeah, I do. Let's do Pop this. In. Right. It's that one and that one. Okay, right. You, there you we go. Out. I'm you. in. So the game adapts difficulty automatically, right? Mm -hmm. So now with three people, it's going to be a bit harder. Oh, great. As we see, yeah, okay, now we have lots oh, of enchanters. Why is that creeper a different color? <laughs> oh, that oh. was an enchanted again. creeper oh. as well. They're really, really big. So, oh, this is going to oh, be no. tricky, oh, tricky, no, tricky. No, 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 Right. All right, I do need to revive someone. Don't Charles, God, God bless me. I see you. I got there take care of myself, man. As you see, uh, this I want this. Oh, no. It's quite intense I want this. and quite, I won't say chaotic, yeah, Adam, this but it's dope, a right? lot I, I want this. This is dope. So as you progress further into the dungeon, you'll see, oh, someone found TNT there. Let's see if someone can pick it up. Cool. Oh, we so can bring TNT, that with obviously, you can throw that with a giant explosion. Okay. And you see all the different particle effects and all the things that's happening. That's those abilities that people are using. Oh, the artifacts. no, what is this? Uh -huh. Oh, good knock. <laughs> Further back, into huh? these dungeons, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's procedurally generated. Yeah. I really don't know what all the cows uh, are no, doing it's down there. It's procedurally generated, y'all. But there they are. I want this. this. Oh, no, I hit fire. Oh, here you see something this pretty cool. This is quite rare. You see uh, the character in the yellow is like clicking some buttons. They're solving a puzzle. 
and that sort of uh, so. those can also happen randomly, quite rare. And that unlocks like the big treasure room in this sub Oh, I sub see it there. Room. What we got? Nice. And lots of cool loot. That I like those emeralds. That would be, I'd be, I'd be stealing all those emeralds. But I think we're going to have to stop there, guys. As much as I would love to continue going, it's. I want to say a huge thank you for bringing the world yeah. of Minecraft to the EXO 19 stage. Please do not forget that Minecraft Dungeons comes out this April and will be available on Xbox Game Pass. But now it's over to Julia with some fan favorite franchise news. Oh! Welcome, Ichiro Hazama and Shinji Hashimoto from Square Enix. Wow. Their interpreter wow. from Square Enix, Gavin Hoffley. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for coming. Uh, so, uh, Hashimoto san, there are some stellar titles uh, coming to Xbox Game Pass for PC. Why don't you tell us more about it? Okay, so finally, finally, classic <laughs> Final Fantasy titles will be appearing on Xbox Game Pass for console and for PC. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, Let's go, baby! Okay. This is what I'm talking about! Final Fantasy VII! Okay. Eight. Okay. Eight. Nine. Nine. Okay. Ten. 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 So we're bringing nine titles, ten different SKUs in sequence to Xbox Game Pass starting next year, 2020. Wow, Let's that's go. amazing. That's amazing. Go. That's fire. Big round of applause there. I mean, I didn't need the interpretation for the Final Fantasy bit, but I, I got the gist, yeah. Um, but that's obviously not the only news uh, that you've got to drop, uh, Hazama-san. Uh, what else uh, do you have to say? Hazama-san,今日の日はそれだけじゃないですよね。そうですね。あの、自分の方からも、えっと、来年の話になるんですが… え、キングダムハーツ we are very delighted to be able to announce <laughs> from next year we will be bringing Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 plus 2.5 remix and Kingdom Hearts HD 2.8 final chapter prologue <laughs> to Xbox platforms. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice, that's cool, that's dope. That's uh, we believe this will allow Xbox One players for the very first time to experience the entire Kingdom Hearts story from the start right up to the latest game. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. Yeah, and then also I hear there's a, de a demo as well that fans can get hands on. Yes, yes, yes. There's another one. えっと、実はあの、And one other thing, yes, for those players on Xbox who have not experienced Kingdom Hearts 3 yet, we have created a brand new demo to introduce you to the game, available on Xbox platform. And it's actually going to be available from today. Ooh. Oh! Sneaky! Just oh. It's in free! There. It's free! <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So it's a great opportunity, please. Have lots of fun with Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Thank you so much, Hashimoto san and Hazama san. And it's so great to hear all the Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy news. Now let's throw it to yeah, Larry Rikari with some news that Discord fans everywhere are sure to love. All right, thank you so much, Julia. Starting today and going through the holiday, Xbox Game Pass Ultimate members also receive three months of Discord Nitro. Now, as you may know, Discord has become the way players and friends connect with each other and their favorite developers. Whether through chat or voice chat, text, Discord is where teams are formed, raids are organized, and communities are kept up to date on patch notes and content updates. Discord is about connecting with your friends and other players. And Discord Nitro 
turns that up to 11 with high quality streams, custom tags, animated emoji, and a bunch of other premium features <laughs> that make hanging out with your friends more fun. All right, now get the most out of the best chat app for playing games with Xbox Game Pass Ultimate and Discord Nitro. Remember with Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, you're getting more than 100 titles for console and PC and Xbox Live Gold. Yep. So you can play and no, get sure, all the deals nah, and exclusives and Xbox up, Game on, Studio uh, titles uh, on launch day, just like Gears 5. All right, it's time to find out which games are coming to Xbox Game Pass, so let's press play now. is in the building, K Brooks in the building, what's going on son? Yo Adam, God bless, I'll see you soon man, take care, have a great one man. Yo this is dope, dope man. Overall I think they have, oh Streets of Rage baby! Uh, overall this has been a pretty good show, pretty good show. Don't say solid, nothing crazy, the nice announcements, great information, it's a pretty good show, pretty good show so far. Hollywood Sports in the building, my dude, what's going on? It's the one and only hip hop gamer, Hot 97, Logitech G, launch life, baby, launch life. It's going down, son. Checking out the brand new Xbox XO19. And look at Streets of Rage, bro. Look at Streets of Rage. Wow. Um, they show Madden, because Madden is now on the Project X Cloud, which is very interesting. Uh, I want to see how that works, but um, but I, I doubt they're gonna show these major sports games. A uh, scale bell, oh man, that would be a huge if they did that. That would be like the biggest surprise in the 
period. That was a huge surprise when they came out with that. Word. We should play that again. That is unbelievable. Here's one more piece of Game Pass news. For a limited time, background. get your first three months of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate for what? Ultimate includes three months of unlimited Xbox Game Pass for console and Game Pass for PC and, of course, Xbox Live Gold. Plus, this holiday members also get one month of EA access yep. to download and play great games from series like Battlefield, FIFA, Mass Effect, and more. Three months of Discord Nitro, and you'll rock six months of Spotify Premium. With that, let's go over to Charlie. All right. Now, we've had an absolutely incredible time here at XO19, but we're not done yet. Now, we're joined by head of Xbox, it's Phil Spencer. Phil Spencer in the building. Let's go, Phil. It's my guy right there. Yeah, that's my man, Phil. Yeah, facts erotic. That new dude is ridiculous. I can't wait. Thank you, everybody, for coming to XO. It's amazing. Thank Talking you. of XO, what gets you so buzzed for a show <laughs> like this? Specifically this one. What gets you so excited about doing stuff like this? Well, like, I mean, the, being here that, with the community of yeah. Xbox gamers, people that just love video games, come here to share the love with each other, to get to play the games. It's all about the fans, and I'm just so happy to be here with everyone. In London, our biggest event ever in London. It's awesome. So thank you. You briefly, before we, before the show even started, we were backstage. We saw the news about Ewok as well coming to Mixer. Is there anything you want to say about that? Oh yeah, bringing Ewok to Mixer. If people haven't seen that news, got announced today. We've been adding more and more streamers. Ewok's a really special streamer, and really happy to have her coming to the platform. Uh, it's just continued growth for Mixer. It's a great community of people watching, people play video games. Awesome. Completely agree. Now, we gamers want great games. And today, there was a lot to share from Xbox Game Studios. Should fans get used to this from Xbox Game Studios? Is there even still more to come? Yeah, you know. <laughs> Let's go. Come on, B. Come on. Talk that talk, B. Let's go. Lloyd in the building, my dude. Matt Lloyd, what up? I see team you, son. Have been doing What's great going work? On? Uh, it's great to sit here and come and see, you know, three new Xbox Game Studios announced, games announced, seeing just so many, much of our first party work. Frankly, when we look forward and we're looking at the shows to come, I can't see a show where we won't be announcing new first party games. There's just so much in development and there's so few shows that I think this should just be something that we should get used to. Seeing new games from our studios doing amazing work. That's really exciting. And I hear that's what people want. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> and talking about games, we also had major third-party news on the show today, and it feels like there's a lot of gamers at home and this room have something to be really, pretty quite happy about with some major franchises coming to Xbox very soon. But what's the number one thing that you consider when bringing this third-party content to the platform? Well, we know our Xbox fans and customers want great third-party games. You know, getting to open the show today with Star Wars was really mm, special. It was great to moment. see that. <laughs> but I think people know I I've been on the... Uh, the plane from Seattle to Tokyo quite often mm -hmm. um, and doing some work. And it's just amazing to be sitting here at the show 
talking about Yakuza coming to Xbox, talking about Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 coming to Xbox, all those Final Fantasy games coming to Xbox, all coming to Game Pass. So for people who haven't played those franchises before and want to try them, they'll be in the service, you can try them. I know there's more work I have to do there. I hear the feedback from the fans and the customers about new franchises that they want, franchises that maybe aren't on our platform today. Uh, I just want them to know from me that I hear them, uh, we're on it, and we'll continue to do the hard work to bring the games that you want on our platform. All right, much love. Okay, I'm gonna let them cheer at that one. <laughs> that was a good one. But talking of hard work, we also heard earlier from Kareem about the expansion of Project X Cloud Preview Program in 2020. With more than 50 games available in preview, new devices support, and new markets in 2020, what else does that mean for gamers? Yeah, for us, Project X Cloud is always about choice. And like many things this generation, we're building this hand in hand with you. The reason we're in preview is because this technology is something that we're working on and we want to hear feedback from you about how you feel about playing your Xbox games on other devices. We're not trying to claim we're done. We're not trying to, can't, trying to claim that we're getting rid of the devices that you already own. This is about us building a service with our community to allow them to take their Xbox experience to the devices with them on the go. The thing that's really great to see is the partnerships that we have. You know, it's not just us building games, it's third parties coming in. We have over 50 games now in Project X Cloud, which is amazing progress. We're getting good operators, like the, the telcos are helping us. We have new third party hardware manufacturers that are building new input devices and stuff. But it can only be done hand in hand with the community. This is something, you know, the, be, the done state is multiple years from now, and we're working on this with the community so that. Come on. So what you want essentially is people just to tweet you constantly like, I like I this. love tweet, getting tweets is. from people, especially the nice ones. Yeah, especially <laughs> the nice ones. Here, here. They're well, all nice, right? We are nearly at the end of the show, but there is still one pretty big game we haven't talked about yet. And I hear that you are particularly jazzed about this one as well. Yeah, you know, one of the things as Matt and I were working through the studio acquisition map, uh, and there were two studios that I, I was really excited about, as was he. One is obviously Obsidian, and we saw Grounded here today. I'm spending a ton of hours in the Outer Worlds right now. Not done yet, level 22, <laughs> but getting close. Oh, come on. Uh, but I just love the fact that we can bring great RPGs to our platform. I think we've missed that as a first party this generation. So when we had the opportunity to work with In Exile and bring a franchise like Wasteland to our platform, Brian Fargo and the team just doing amazing work and seeing the progress that we had, we said, you know, what a great way to finish the show. Absolutely, and a huge thank you goes to you for everything that we've got going on here. And now Yo, Walter James, I see you, big dog. Salute, God Brian bless, man, what up? And Wasteland 3. Oh, yeah, the Capco Glove? Yeah, yeah, that's what it's classic, man. We just heard from Phil about how excited he is classic, about yeah. having Wasteland going to Xbox. Um, but for Xbox players out there who haven't played before, what do they need to know? Well, first, the Wasteland series is a deep and dark post-apocalyptic role-playing game. And you don't need to have played the first two Wasteland games. In fact, Wasteland 3 is completely standalone. Uh, in the previous Wastelands, you were desert rangers trying to bring peace and harmony to a very messed up world. Only this time you're moving to the frigid Colorado to deal with all no problems. But uh, most importantly, it's a role playing game, yeah. right? Where all of your choices matter, character creation, creating your vehicle, and every conversation you have has rippling effects throughout the entire world that affects the storyline and how people respond to you throughout the world. Yeah, now there is a very long and deep history for the Wasteland franchise. What's, can you tell us of the journey to Wasteland 3? The journey's pretty fantastic. We, we did the first Wasteland. We set out to make a very dark humor uh, role-playing game with moralistically tough choices, all the way back in 1988. It was a big success, but then we weren't able to do a sequel. So we took everything we learned from Wasteland and we bro, made a little great, game called Walter. Fallout. I'm great, bro. We did Fallout today, 1 man, and we did Fallout good. 2. I then left that company and then I got the rights to Wasteland back after two decades. Uh, I was wow. dying to do a Wasteland 2. We went out to our fans via Kickstarter and said, we want to do a sequel. They raised up, we raised $3 million directly from our fans who wanted to see the game. It, that was a success. And then we started number three about three years ago, wanted to make it bigger and better. But then Microsoft came along and really just turned on the juice. 
So now we've got uh, a half a million words of dialogue, you know, fully voiced. You're going to see the visual upgrade here. It's been huge. Uh, Soundtrack-wise, we brought on the uh, music supervisor who did all the Quentin Tarantino films to give it wow. a very unique kind of vibe. Yo, this is and crazy so, you know, right here. And, we, and Just through all that, we won best uh, role-playing game of the show at Gamescom last year. And I think the best part about this journey is from those humble beginnings yeah. to being here today, showing it off to this large audience. It's yeah. fantastic. Can we so. get everybody yeah. a few This is crazy. Because it, it just shows why everyone is so excited for this franchise and this game to come to us. And it gives us great pleasure to throw to this world premiere trailer. But before we do, on behalf of all our Xbox fans, the entire cast and crew of Inside Xbox and XO19 here in London, thank you so much for watching today. And also, remember, XO19 is just getting started. Keep it right here all weekend for our special panels, including Halo, Gaming for Everyone, and Minecraft, just to name a few. We will be broadcasting them throughout the day, Friday and Saturday on mixer.com forward slash Xbox. Now, to close things out properly from the inside Xbox stage, it's the newest look at Wasteland 3. Right, Goodbye, go, everyone. Wasteland, baby. Yeah, fast and ride again. All right, let's go. Hello everyone out there in the wasteland. On today's show I want to talk to you about our world. I must have dreamed a thousand dreams. The world you see now is a very scary place. By a million Democracy, equality, and freedom all died when the bombs fell. And we've been walking on their ashes ever since. especially here in Colorado. There's too many men, too many people making too many problems. The three That's children of our fire. patriarch are even more ruthless than he is. We live in a society built on violence. Can't you see this is the land of confusion? But it wasn't always like this. Over a hundred years ago, everything was different. I believe we can get back there if we fight this oppression. If we are fearless against the evils of the world, we can be everything we were in 1987. our show for the day. Tune in tomorrow when we're going to talk about the dangers of cannibalism. Can't you see this is the land of confusion? Mm. Alright, this looks dope. May 19th, baby. Alright, y'all. So look, I'm about to break out, man. That was the Xbox X019 live from London stream. Uh, my thoughts on the overall show was that it was a pretty good show. There was some major takeaways. Uh, so far, Wasteland 3 looks really, really good. There's a couple of other games that they showed that looks really, really good. Uh, for Xbox fans, um, getting Kingdom Hearts and Yakuza, you know, a lot of these games that PlayStation already had, for it to come to Xbox, that's good for the Xbox, you know, only community. So that's great right there. Um, I think that... Uh, uh, the Project S Cloud coming to Xbox Game Pass is a huge deal, so pay attention to that. And um, and I think that uh, uh, just where they're taking Xbox Game Pass overall is gonna be a big deal overall in the future. Like, so I think um, I think they're on the right track. I think they're on the right path. It was a good show overall, and um, there's a lot of games out there, man. They got a lot of titles out there. Halo Reach coming. 
That's dope. That's huge. December 3rd, Halo Reach on PC. That's huge. We're going to do the Game Pass. So I'm loving that. Now stay tuned because later on tonight, midnight tonight, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. We going live, baby. You already know what it is. So look, it's the one and only hip hop gamer, Hot 97, Logitech G. Love y'all. God bless y'all. Have a great day and I'll see y'all tonight. Peace.